Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where this time where I've got a little bit of a clear sky out there, not the best conditions but I thought I'd grab the chance to uh, show you how the EOS lens control works which is uh, something I think on its own is worth the cost of APT if you've ever spent a cold winter's night trying to get your Canon EOS and its lens uh, focused. Uh, the lens control allows an autofocus routine to run with this camera and lens combination. So let's get into it and take a look how it works. Okay, so this is nice and live. It's not supposed to have been a clear night tonight, but it's enough for me to do this. Uh, this is live. Um, so I've selected a star, I've got it a little bit in focus using the uh, focuser as normal. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start lens control in a second. Uh, so for my stacking, I've got 40 images it's going to stack from your live view uh, to get the star. So that's just over a second's worth. Um, so if I hit lens control, uh, yes, it's in autofocus mode already. Now this lets me use the controls to uh, move the focus in and out and get close to focus as I can. Um, so. I'm going to reset these best. Oh, don't slip over there. Stay on this fella. The only problem is when you're not actually zoomed in, uh, so I might zoom in now. Uh, that's where I want to zoom in on is there. So zoom. Oh, come on, zoom. That's better. So there's my star now. Okay, so I'll let that settle down, reset the stats. I can probably bring that in a bit more myself uh, if I wanted to, but I'm going to let the autofocus run now, uh, now that I've got it set there. So now I hit the start autofocus. So black magic happens now. If you've ever spent nights out on a cold winter's night trying to get focus using the uh, manual controls on a uh, Canon lens or a Nikon lens, you'd know what this is like. Um, this alone is worth the cost of APT for the little bit you pay each year. So this will do two runs. Um, it might be fast runs, it might be slow runs. Uh, it depends on how well it goes with the focusing. But you just need to let it run. Um, I'll try and keep you entertained while it's going. Uh, it's getting, getting there. Pardon me. So it's trying to focus. It's getting in there a bit. And this you know, might take three or four minutes for it to do it. Uh, it depends on what results it gets. Uh, and as you can see, I've got magnifier turned on up here so you can actually watch the star as it goes. Um, you can zoom in more, not that it's going to make much difference. Get you carried away. And it's working on trying to find the best focus position. And, uh, and it's quite good because considering how small a movement, how tiny they are to, on the uh, camera lenses to get the focus. It's getting closer to its best. Now you don't want too bright a star. You don't want something like Rigel or Sirius or something like that that's really, really bright. Probably something about two or three magnitude seems to work well. Um, I can't even remember what star I'm on at the moment. Uh, actually I can, no I won't because I didn't do it that way uh, Stellarium will tell me no that was on Rigel, it's not on Rigel anymore um, I can't remember where I went, might be might be self-help Jabbar I'll have to have a look in a minute but that's going again, oops it's whipped out, now it'll come back in so this is just all based on this image stack Slowly working its way back in again. Oh, it's on the second pass now too. So it looks like somewhere around 2.9, 2.95 is going to be the best. Uh, it might get a little bit lower, but that's okay. Considering it's not the best conditions out there, I don't think it's working too bad. Uh, wasn't meant to be clear tonight, and it's not really that clear. There's a few clouds floating around, but hopefully I might actually get to image something. But this is something I couldn't show you. Um, you needed to actually be out under the stars doing this and I, I meant to work through the whole setting everything up because this is a completely new setup um, 
I've gone in this afternoon when I noticed that the clouds weren't there. Oh, it's auto focusing is now finished. So there you go. That's the auto focus with uh, the um, auto focus aid, the lens control, uh, and it works quite well. So you need to use focusing aid with it um, and get in as close as you can before you start, uh, and then zoom in on it using live view. But I'm quite happy with that. Um, so I'm just going to I'm just going to pause this while I go out and turn off the uh, autofocus. So just give me a moment here and I'll be right back. I didn't mean to stop the recording there. I meant to uh, just pause it. Um, but I'm now back in manual focus mode and that star looks pretty good. So I'm going to stop this now. I'll exit out of uh, autofocus. And we'll go have a look at an actual image of a star rather than... Um, let's zoom all the way in on that. There you go, that's 10 times zoom on it. Fl floating around a little bit, but that's because of the uh, weather conditions. So I'm going to turn off live view for now. Uh, turn off magnifier. Oh, that's an image I took earlier today. Well, not earlier today, but a little while ago while I was trying to get the focus in. As you can see, I was well out of focus. So now I'm going to go shoot. Um, I'll do a decent one, do a 10 second exposure. ISO 3200 and I'll shoot it and see how we go. Then we can take a look at an actual image rather than the live view. And there we go. So that's a fake, nice round stars. Uh, I might have to put a mask over the front of this thing. Uh, I don't, we don't really like the spikes you get with it but uh, that's what you get when you're using a DSLR with a camera lens. Um, what else can I show you with a DSLR at the moment? You know, you've already seen live view. Um, you know, just zoom in. There's not much I can I can show you on this. It's quite basic to use. Uh, so that's a 10 times zoom on it. You can zoom out. Uh, actually, one thing I want to check. I've never actually used it because I don't like the sounds of it. So I'm going to go into my settings here, um, live view automation, um, yeah I'll leave it at 6400 and see how that goes, okay, so I've never actually used the live view automation, I just like setting it myself, so we'll see how it goes with the live view automation, oops, uh, zoom, It doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Um, no, I've turned live view off. <laughs> Smart boy. Yeah, so that star's looking quite good. Uh, I'll center this 10 times zoom on it. Oh, get up there. No, it's not in the 10 times zoom. Okay, so that's set to it. And we'll go into 10 times zoom. So that's actually come out quite well. So I'm happy with that. So I'll turn off live view now. Uh, go back to standard view. Um, what else with the DSLR can I show you while I'm in here? Oh, the planetary. I'm not going to do this simply because um, I'll actually stop and come back to that. So that's it for the... Uh, uh, lens control for your autofocus with a Canon lens and, and camera. So I'll be right back.